Okay, this, we're gonna do a catch and cook. Our last coho, we have seven. We need one more now. I might be blowing it. We're gonna do a catch and cook on this show right now. And it's gonna be a coho. We're gonna roast it over the fire. This is gonna be a catch and cook for that fish. <laughs> Stick, stay tuned. The Sierra's gonna catch it. Oh yeah, all right, you're going good, Melly. Oh, we got one here already. We got one here. Yeah, there you go. Feel that one in. Yeah, look at him. He's fighting. Here's on a fish. I'm getting a shot. This is our catch and cook fish. Catch and cook fish. You land this one, Sierra. It's fighting. Yeah. Yeah, I'll slow it down a bit. Okay, it's fighting. Yeah, it's fighting. It's really fighting. Where's that? That's a cool. That's a cool. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's our catch, catch and cook fish. That whole show only took about 10 minutes to film. Now we gotta go cook them. Stick around, let's cook them up. Yay! So since this is a catch or cook, remember, if you want a fresh fish, dispatch your fish quickly by bonking them on the head with a blunt Wait, trauma. Can I kiss it? She wants I'm to kiss it. Kissing. Next, next thing you do. I usually just stick my finger here under the gills and I tear, okay? I just tear them out and then they start bleeding like crazy. So it's optimal freshness when you cook it up. That's what I want to show you. It's ugly, but if you want to do a catch and cook, you got to do it the right way. Well, welcome back. This is the second part of our catch and cook for this coho. It was our eighth and final coho for the limit today. It was absolutely crazy action, but now we got to cook it. And I think today we're going to cook it on the fire. I'm going to scale it up, season it up, put some lemons on there and uh, wrap it in some tin foil with butter. And I have a little spot that I laid out with rocks that are heating up right now, right beside the fire. I'm going to lay it in there and see how it turns out. So stick around. Let's, let's actually get to it. Let's scale this thing and... I caught it. You caught it. What did you catch it on? Um, rod. Rod. So scaling a salmon is really easy when they're clean and fresh and moist. Uh, you just, you know, from tail to head, any knife will do. We've already taken the guts out, taken the gills out uh, on the ocean. So we'll just scale it really fast. Coho are actually really easy to scale if you do it fresh. You can spray them with uh, high pressure water and the scales will just fly off. Once the fish starts to dry out a bit, they kind of stick more. So if you do it right after you catch them, that's the easiest, but look how beautiful coloration that one is. Just looks great. What do you guys think about the day you had fishing? Awesome! Oh! How many do you think you caught today? Were you, were you counting? Yeah. Okay, so we've got our salmon here all scaled and washed off. Got my knife. I'm gonna make some slits in it. Do you guys want to do the salt and pepper? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So this I'm gonna. The salt. Okay, you guys pepper. can start salting and peppering yeah, this side. Yeah, this is salt. Okay, inside. Go for it. I'm just making some slices in it to allow the seasoning to get into the fish throughout. Because not much gets in the gut cavity if you do that. Okay, guys? So Kelly, are you, you can gonna season eat it. The We've got some butter here. Hey, you guys want to put the lemons inside? We got our nice little tray, lemons and butter. That my, no, no, no. You open up the gut. You put it in the gut cavity. So you put it in the gut cavity. You can tell my kids have not cooked the salmon before. I always do it. <laughs> put the lemons on the inside. We're gonna put some nice chunks of butter on the inside. And then we're gonna wrap it up in tin foil. Can you hold the gut cavity open for me so I can pop this butter in there? Spread them out. Just spread all those things out. Screw all those lemons out. We can put some on top if there's too many for inside. Yeah. Okay, too many for inside. I would just stole a piece. Okay. I'll put some on top too. Now wrap her up, okay? Thankfully, 
We're gonna tin foil it. Oh no, no, you gotta hold the belly. See ya. Oh yeah, hold the belly. Good job, guys. Okay, lay the fish down. Look at that. It looks like a beauty. I should take a picture right now before I wrap it up. It's time to wrap it all up. We're just gonna fold it up in the foil. We got our pickers pictures for our thumbnail. And wrap this guy up. Get those other ones, Callie. And then we'll pop it on the fire. Okay, so I got this nice hot like oven because I built the fire close to these rocks. And I, I put these rocks right here. So it kind of shields it and keeps the heat in this area. You can put the salmon down those rocks so it should prevent it from burning bad. And it'll keep it nice and hot right here. Okay, let's do that. Incoming salmon. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna put, since the belly will probably cook the fastest, we'll put the, the top of the fish towards the heat, just like that. And then we'll flip it over once. Hi guys. Okay. Okay, it's the time everyone's been waiting for. I don't think I can see. We're gonna, I know, we're gonna take this off the fire. And take a look at it. It's been on here for a while. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's done. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's hot. Oh man, that's hot. And after you can just throw the tin Oh boy, we're moving stuff. Oh yeah. Some lemon. Oh, I can see uh, the head. Does it look cooked? Mm, not very much. Oh yeah, that's cooked. Oh man. Look at that. Oh my. Oh man, it looks good. Oh man. Look at that. That's like, it looks like it was baked in the uh, oven. Oven, yeah, it does. Taste test. Go get your forks, guys. Yep. Yeah. They're running to get their forks right now. Okay, dig in, guys. I don't have a fork. Hot, baby. Okay, remember it be heavy, the camera. Heavy I mean, doesn't know about the camera. Heavy doesn't know about the camera. Oh, this looks so good. It's like you cooked it in the oven. Oh, man. Well, that's pretty good for on the fire. Fresh coho salmon right out of the ocean, straight onto the fire. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. I'll finish this bite, and then you hit the notification bell. Tell me what other kind of videos you'd like to see. And thanks for watching. As always, go catch a big one.